Selamat datang. Herzlich willkommen zu unserem Unterricht heute. Heute werden wir uns konzentrieren auf Chara Ampo, der, die, das, der bestimmte und der unbestimmte Artikel. Der, die, das. Today we will explain to you tips, tricks and hacks to find out quick which one of them I have to use in the right time. When I'm going to use der, when we're going to use die and when we're going to use das. We got three options to categorize it and it's simple and easy to find out. Number one is biologically, by gender. For example, der is masculine, so when we find the masculine gender, we have an example like the father, the uncle, the brother. So it is der Vater, der Bruder und der Onkel. So we can find out by gender when I need to use der because of masculine gender. That's number one. On number two we can find out by Bedeutung. This means we're going by meaning. On the third we're gonna find it out through the suffix. In English, in German we call this Nachsilbe. The ending of the word. I have some amazing tricks and tracks today, so we're gonna figure it out, all right? For example, masculine job professions. It indicates also when to use der. For example, the pilot, the doctor, or the painter. Der Pilot, der Arzt, der Maler. So on profession we can find out that we use masculine professions. We have to use there. Exactly right. The next one we can figure out the timings of the day. For example, the morning, the afternoon, the evening. It is always there. Der Morgen, der Mittag, der Abend. And also months, seasons. Yeah? Der Januar, der Februar, der März, der April und so weiter. Der Sommer, the summer, the autumn, the winter, the spring. Der Frühling, der Sommer, der Herbst, der Winter. So we know all those things are always masculine and we have to use der. The next is 95% of all the suffix, the endings, the noun. So I've got some secrets, some tips and tricks for you today, how we can find out that I have to use der. For example, the coward in English, the feigling. So we have the ending L-I-N-G, ling. If I see L-I-N-G in the ending of the word feigling, I know it is masculine and I have to use der, der feigling. Another example I give you today is the luggage, der koffer. The ending is ER. So when I see the word koffer and I see the ending ER in the end, so I know it is masculine and I have to use der. And there are a lots and lots of small little hacks. Yeah, I can show you. I see H. Ich. Teppich, the carpet, teppich. 
ICH. It indicates me that it's a masculine and I have to use there. Okay? And there's a lot more and more and more. And I'm going to tell you them all as we go along the way. Okay? I'm going to make a video next day. And I'm going to show you about D and about DAS. Okay, everybody? I hope you enjoyed this small session. And I'm going to make the next video as soon as possible. And I will explain more to you how to manage their D DAS. Chara Ampo.